All right, guys, I'm 2-0. and My last $2.99 daily best plays on my website. But before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video for Sunday, June 5th, 2022. If you want to save yourself some time, please feel free to check out my quick pick recap at the end of the video. All of my picks for this video are at the end of the clip. And the timestamp for all those picks is in the description section below. All you have to do is click on it, and it's going to take you right to the end of the video. You don't have to listen to me talk. Of course, that's why we're all here, right? We don't want to watch me talk for eight minutes. We just want the picks right away. But uh, anyway, uh, if you don't already know, my name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal sports bets on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. And I have packages on my safe and secure website starting at just $1.99. Just keep in mind, guys, if you sign up for a package here today on that site, you're going to get access to that membership every single day all the way through the end of June. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my website. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport side in total. What I do on BrockPage.com is actually share with you which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. Let's take a look at the Tigers taking on the Yankees, 1135 Eastern first pitch. New York's minus 310, totals eight and a half. Jordan Montgomery for New York, Roddy Garcia for Detroit. Now, Big Ron's yet to get a win on the season. He's got a 470 ERA through 23 innings of work. And even if Garcia throws a gem, I'm not sure the Tigers can score enough to keep themselves in the ball game. They're averaging fewer runs a game than any other team in the big leagues. And no real surprise here, Detroit's also dead last in offensive OPS at the plate. They're taking on Jordan Montgomery on the other side here today, who's got just one loss on the year through 53-plus innings. The lefty's also got 41 strikeouts, a 3.04 ERA, and a 1.01 whip. When it comes to offensive production, nobody's hitting more out of the park than New York. Aaron Judge is leading the league in bombs with 21 of them. Judge is also the league leader in OPS. Meanwhile, Rizzo, Stanton, and Torres, they all have double-digit home runs apiece. When it comes to the total, oddly enough, the Yankees saw seven out of their last ten ball games fall under the number. Meanwhile, Detroit's 18-6 and six of the under while traveling. I'm going to lean toward the Yankees, minus one and a half, and the under, eight and a half runs. Next matchup, Angels, Phillies, 135 East. Philadelphia is minus a buck and a quarter, totals eight and a half. Kyle Gibson for the Fightins, Patty Sandoval for Los Angeles. And even though Patty's having a real solid season, the Angels have been playing some pitiful baseball. They somehow lost their last 10 straight, and their lineup is nearly worse than the league in strikeouts. Matter of fact, the Angels are in the bottom three in the bigs right now in strikeouts per nine at the dish. They're taking on a Phillies pitching staff who tends to rack up the strikeouts themselves. Matter of fact, the Fightins are nearly leading the majors right now in strikeouts per game. Kyle Gibson has actually punched out 49 batters on the season. He also has a 383 ERA. When it comes to offensive production in this one, the Phillies are still doing a couple of things uh, right at the plate. They're in the top 10 in home runs. And they're also amongst the better scoring teams in the National League right now. Kyle Schwarber is leading the team in homers with 14 of them. We have Bryce Harper. He's right behind him with a dozen. Harper's also hitting 304 at the dish. And he currently ranks in the top 10 in the majors in OPS. Now, total-wise, the Phillies went 8-2 to the over in their last 10 outings. They also saw four out of their last five at Citizens Bank Park get over the line. Meanwhile, L.A. Uh, on the other side, They've gone 70% to the over in their last 10 outings themselves. I'm going to lean toward Philadelphia minus a buck and a quarter in the over eight and a half. 
Next matchup, it is going to be D-backs, Pirates, 135 East. Arizona's minus 145, total 7.5. Zach Gallen for Arizona. Zach Thompson for Pittsburgh. Now, Thompson's just 2-4 and four on the season with a 518 ERA and a 1.45 whip. He's also backed by a Pittsburgh lineup who scores only 3.6 runs a game. And they also rank in the bottom five in team batting average. Now, the Pirates are taking on a D-backs club who won three out of their last five. And they actually do a nice job hitting for power. Arizona currently finds themselves in the top 10 in team home runs. Christian Walker actually has 14 homers on the year. He ranks fifth in the majors in that category. Meanwhile, Dalton Varsho and David Peralta have eight home runs apiece. And Arizona also has Zach Gallen on the mound here today, who's yet to lose the game on, a, on, the, uh, on the year. No losses. He's 4-0. 232 ERA, 0.91 whip. Total-wise, Arizona's 15-9 and nine to the over while traveling. They're also averaging nearly six runs a game in their last 10 meetings with Pittsburgh. So if you're into historical trends, certainly want to think about that one there. I'm going to lean toward Arizona, minus 145. And the over 7.5. And, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. Power to you by my website at patreon.com slash brock page. I'm currently 2-0 on oh, my last $2.99 daily best plays. I like the Yankees minus 1.5, under 8.5 runs against Detroit. Give me Philadelphia minus a buck and a quarter, over 8.5 against the Angels. I like the D-backs minus 145, over 7.5 runs against Pittsburgh. As far as all the other games are concerned, Give me Cleveland, minus a buck 15, over nine. Minnesota, plus one and a half, over eight. Tampa Bay, minus 105, under seven. San Francisco, minus a buck 20, over eight runs. Washington Nationals, plus one and a half, over nine. Houston, minus one and a half, under nine runs. Milwaukee, minus a buck and a quarter, over seven and a half. Give me Texas, minus 130, over eight runs. Give me Colorado, plus one and a half, over 12. I'm also leaning toward Boston, plus a dollar, under seven and a hook. Give me the Dodgers, minus one and a half, over eight and a half runs. With my next and final free pick for the video, I'm going to lean toward the Cardinals, minus 130, and the over eight and a half. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on, on uh, my Safe and Secure website, you're going to get access to that membership every single day all the way through the end of June. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.